today we'll be going over some home improvement mishaps. And we're also gonna rank them on a scale from one to five um, on how bad the fail was. One is like, oh, that craft's not so bad. They can come back from this. Five is like burn it in a trash fire. There's like, that's the only use left for it is to like keep your house warm. First one. I was making a paper flower wreath and the flowers were white and yellow, so I thought it would be nice to spray them with some gold paint just to have a small effect of golden paint over the flowers. I feel like I can see where this is going, but all right, let's see. The result was I ruined it because, well, the top of the spray can say gold or oro. The can said tobacco color. Oh no, is this the picture next? No! <laughs> Oh, you guys, look at this. Yeah, so I feel like this went from a very bright spring yellow, white, you know, wreath to a sadly burnt donut. So for this one, I think between a scale of one to five, five being the biggest spell, I would rate this as a four. I would give this like a two, because I really think we can just turn this around real easy. Now that, you know, this person has a brown base color, uh, maybe like even adding like copper or even some pearl dust in it, you know, like bring it back to life. Three, because it has potential to be something cool again. My roommates and I try to upgrade our couch, but in order to do so, we needed to get it out of our apartment first. Unfortunately, it was too big to fit through our door frame, so we needed to unassemble it. Turns out that was easier said than done as we ruined a few tools in doing so. Oh, I didn't see where this was going. The tools are gonna to be the problem? Okay. <gasps> no! <laughs> well, how do you ruin tools? Let's look at it. Oh. How strong is that couch? This is like a two because the couch is, it's a good couch. I'm gonna have to give it a four. But mishap wise, this is the hammer's fault. So I'll rank it five because you should not use a tool that can't do what it's supposed to do. You know in Friends where you have to be like pivot, pivot. Pivot, pivot. So hopefully you guys pivoted enough and got that couch out. Number three. When we moved into our house, it had wood paneling on the walls of the den. Ooh, very 70s. After 15 years of living with them, we decided we would replace them and put up texture walls. This is gonna be a good one. Turns out taking down the wood paneling was harder than we thought and we can't figure out how to put up the textured walls. This is gonna be a big reveal. Okay, are we all ready? Here we go. Oh no! Oh no! What is that? Is that cardboard? What is this? Wow. That's not cute. This is a five for sure, 100%. This one's definitely a five for me because I just don't know how you come back from this. I mean, I would rank it maybe a four if you're gonna leave it the way it is. Once you take down the wood paneling, I think in order to put your textured walls up, you have to drywall it first. And that sounds like a lot of work, so I would, you know, have a professional do it, and then, and then after that, the world's your oyster. I moved to a new apartment and wanted to make it feel like home. I decided I'd paint all the walls to get rid of the eggshell white. I laid down painter's tape and began using big paint rollers. Okay, so what do we think, everybody? Is it gonna be the paint? Is it gonna be the tape? We realized after paint got under the painter's tape and pooled in certain areas, so now I have beautiful walls and these little splotches on the ceiling. Oh my God. Is that, I wonder if that's there forever. Like, can they just cover it up? You know, but this isn't as terrible. This could, this could be much worse. Honestly, her lines from where it is though, like where the wall meets the ceiling are not that bad. So she can come back from this. I'm not gonna give, this is like a one for me. This is like a one, cause you could paint over it. It's not too bad of a project. I feel like this is a two because you could just paint over it, right? But for next time, Nifty's made a Nifty 101 how to paint and that is a great video that covers everything from what you need to buy material wise, how to paint the walls, how to prep the walls and how to avoid all these situations. Okay, 
those were like what I was expecting, probably disaster wise. I have had plenty of worse mistakes. So I think the thing to remember is, is that we're all just human. It's your home. You could get creative as much as you want. And I think the most important thing about doing any home renovation is always research before you do anything. I feel like sometimes we just gravitate towards that big project, but if you're uncertain, luckily there's a lot of stuff out there on the internet. Nifty's a great one. We try to accommodate everybody that is not as DIY um, friendly, but you know, we try to make things easy, we try to find solutions, and we make sure that your space can be like yours.